Okay, there we go. Um, minus 59. Okay, so traditionally, this is what you do. You uh, you cross this one, make this one 10, make this one 9, make this one 18. Right. Right? And then you proceed subtracting 18 to 9, and then 5 to 4, and this one becomes 0. Right. So our answer was 49. Mm -hmm. Right? Okay. I'm going to teach you a quicker way to get that answer without crossing much and... Um, the trick starts here. If you do, when you read a number, you read it from left to right, correct? Mm -hmm. It's 108. When you do subtraction, you're going backward. You're doing it right to left. Mm -hmm. So you have to get the 9, and then you get a 4, and then you're going to read it left to right. Mm -hmm. So it's completely opposite of how we normally do things. Right. Okay. So. This new method, just put up with it for now. At first, it looks kind of foreign, but put up with it for now. Um, if this 1 minus 0, I'm going to force myself to do the subtraction from left to right. The reason is I'm going to read it left to right. So I can look at this one, basically tell what the answer is. Uh huh. Okay. 1 minus 0, I have only two choices. I can have a 1 or a 0. When I have 1 is if I don't have anything to borrow behind me. Uh -huh. Since I have a 0, I can't cover 5, my 1 is out of the picture. Right. Okay. Over here, can you tell me what the two possibilities are? 5? Uh -uh. This is really an equivalent of a 10. Oh, okay. Then you could have... Okay, five, five and? Five or four. Aha. Uh -huh. Which one is it? Well, since you can't uh, subtract eight or nine, then it's not uh, five. That's right. So far, so good, right? Mm-hmm. Okay, now here is where we're really going to save a lot of time. I'm going to change it into a green. This is normally what happened. You made this one 18, correct? Right. 18 is really 10 plus 8, yes? Mm -hmm. And then you're trying to attempt to subtract 9, right? Mm -hmm. So my thinking is this. Look, I don't want to add this thing up and then subtract 9 because I can subtract 9 from 10 a lot quicker than I can subtract 9 away from 18. Mm -hmm. So 10 subtract 9, I have what? 1 left. Yeah, you just have 1. 1 left plus 8, I have 9. Mm -hmm. I can I can hear your brain clicking and there's a question you're dying to ask. <laughs> Do you yeah, see it? I don't exactly get how the green works. Okay, good. So 18, right? Oh, you trying you're trying to do 18 minus 9, correct? Right. Okay, I'm saying look, 18 is really 10 plus 8. Uh-huh. 10 can take care of anything you want to subtract. I don't like really one. Yeah, 1. 1 plus 8. That's right. Which is 9. Which is 9. Oh, I see. So, so I'm, I'm I tricking... I have, have to have this other box here. That's right. For the last digit, you don't really have a box. Oh, so you just have a random box here that you don't really need. All right, so answer is 49. Okay, let me try okay. another one on you. Uh, 37 minus 8. Let's start with the easy one. Okay. Okay, so here is 3 or 2. Yeah. Which one? It be a 3 or a 2. It has to be 2 because... Okay, 20 something, right? Yeah. Okay. Here I'm going to make it a 17, but I'm going to think 17 in terms of 10 plus 7. That 10 plus 7 uh -huh. minus 8. That's right. That so 10, 10 minus 8... Which is 2. Is 2 plus... 7 is 9. Answer is 29. I see. Pretty cool, huh? Yes, it is. <laughs> Want to try another one? Sure. 45 minus 18. So is it a 3 or 2? Well, 5 minus 8 is 15, so it has to be a 3. 
Uh, well, I have the fire. Uh, this is how to be three. Okay, I get it, I get it, I get it. I don't have enough to cover behind me, right? Yeah. Okay, so 20. This is really a two. Uh-huh. 20. Seven. Yeah, because this is a 15, right? And plus 5. Uh huh. Minus 8. Minus 8. 10 minus 8 is 2 plus 5 equals 7. You're right. So when I see 8, automatically I'm thinking, okay, minus 8 is really at 2. Uh huh. Right? Mm -hmm. So 8 and 2 makes 10. 3 and 7 make 10. 4 and six right oh i see there's only so many pairs right right i'll bet you anything you can add a lot quicker than you subtract yeah probably so so <laughs> if i give you a 22 minus nine i'm sorry about uh up here with the four and the six i forgot where we were oh no that's all so right i realize that now that we're doing the eight plus two is ten two plus seven is ten four plus six is ten yeah. and all that Okay, so watch this one. Nine is really a one. Why so? Huh? Why is nine a one? Well, because 12 is really 10 plus 2. Right. Minus 9. 9 and 1 makes 10, right? Uh-huh. So every time when I see a minus 9, I'm thinking plus 1. Okay, that makes sense. Because 9 and 1 are cousins, right? Uh -huh. Three and seven, two and eight, four and six, and five and five. Which is that's all the pairs you have. Yes, it is. Right. So if I give you a twenty-one minus nine, this digits right away is two. Yeah, this is all actually a one. That's right. If I give you twenty-three minus nine, what do you have? You have this digits um, going to be four. four. Uh huh. Twenty-three and eight. This you one is really a two. a two, so it's five. Then you have five. Now, guess what? Oh, sorry, this one we did it wrong. This is one. We don't need to borrow. Wait, no, I was wrong. Whoopsie. Oh, sorry. Let me go. It's five is correct. I just got ahead of myself. Uh-huh. Right? So what's 13 minus eight? It's really just five. Minus eight uh -huh. is um, four. Sorry, five. It is five, right? Yes. But since we see 8 as a plus 2, it's so much quicker now. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, what about 17 and um, let's put a 9 here. Okay. So this one That would be an 8. That's right. Look how, how much quicker you are now. Uh, 12 and 7. Then this would be a 5. That's right. It pops right out. Uh-huh. Okay, now let's go on to 112 minus 29. Okay. Let's make so this one this... up. So 100, I have enough to cover me, right? Right. And so this, this is a 1. 1, that's a 3. This is 1 minus 0. But yeah, you do have enough one. to cover you here, uh -huh. so it's 123. See? Which was yesterday. Uh-huh. Oh, <laughs> very good. Okay, now let's do a 151 minus 18. Uh huh. So it's 100. What do you think? 40 or 30? Um, it would be probably 30. Very good. 30. And um, 2 plus 133. Uh huh. Now use the older way try. Okay. Exactly the same. Plus minus eight is three. So that's what it would be the old way. Uh-huh. So when someone gave you this problem on the board, you don't need a pencil. You can actually re read the answer out. Uh -huh. It's a hundred. This is either four or three. I don't have enough, so it's three. Right? Uh -huh. I don't have enough to cover behind me. This is really a two. Plus so one is three. three. Uh-huh. 
I don't need all this borrowing stuff. Yay. Yay. I don't like borrowing. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I don't know if your dad is still listening. For homework, have him give you something like this. What do you think? Do a 20 of them. Okay, that works. So have him write it down, and then you're going to read the answer out. 127 minus, uh, say, 19. Right. So you're going to read the answer. Answer is what? The answer is, since this is really a 1, Mm -hmm. well, no, eight. you're going to start here. You're going to start on the side. One, oh yeah, one eighteen. Uh, well, is this one or zero? Well, oh yeah, this would be zero. So it's 108. 108, that's right. Which is 36 times 3. Very good. Okay, now watch this one. I don't want you to write anything down. Read the answer for me. Okay. Okay, the answer is one hundred. It would be one mm -hmm. hundred and one one or one, one two. One one. One one. Six. Excellent. One hundred sixteen. Excellent. 